like how do i go without you know the eggplant oh no female that's fucking with a man a man man should be spending their money <laughs> welcome back to my channel for today's video we are going to be doing a get ready with me i haven't sat down and talked to y'all and did a get ready with me in so long Ugh, my hair itchy but yeah i haven't talked to y'all and sat with y'all in a motherfucking minute so today we are just going to be talking about some stuff rambling about some stuff that y'all have been dming me about and I know y'all are curious. I don't know why, but I I mean, I don't know. Like, we'll get into the topic. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't mind my face breaking out on this side. Ugh, I get a facial on Monday, thank God. Let's just hop right into the video because I'm ready to get cute. Ugh, I hate when the sides of my sew-ins, like, pull my hairs on the side. This is the most irritating feeling so i haven't talked to y'all in a minute it's 2020 like how is y'all 2020 going mine's you ask oh <laughs> mine's is going great so far i'm blessed i'm thankful i'm so blessed for these new opportunities coming my way keep them coming god because i know you see me working baby i know you see i'm forever grateful so yeah, comment down below on how your 2020 is going. A topic that, oh shit, I should actually do my brows off camera because I do that all the time. But so, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. As a lot of people have DMing, have been DMing me about like me not having a man. Like how, like, how do I go without, you know? the eggplant i don't know like <laughs> that's a sensitive topic because if i tell you you're gonna look at me funny you're gonna look at me different and i don't want you like you know imagining me doing some things you know like a little playtime in your head and of course everybody does it and if somebody says they don't they're fucking lying it rhymes with you know radiation you know <laughs> so i mean like it's not like i need it it's a want people want it you don't need it you don't need that a function in life what i encounter it but it's just like i don't encounter it a lot or I don't allow myself to, you know, have somebody use me in those ways and say that because they don't do shit for me. Like, what what are you going to do for me to put me in a position to win? That's what's going to make, you know, that's going to make me want to hop on it, you know, like, <laughs> like a jackrabbit or something. But I'm not turned on by anybody. I haven't encountered that type of, you know, affection with somebody yet for me to be wanting to play you know hopping on that like i had slipped up y'all i had slipped up with one of my like you know high school bulls like he be calling me and shit and i was like um in my hometown y'all know y'all have those um like those little encounters with boys from high school that you used to talk to and y'all kind of keep in contact kind of sometimes not really but sometimes um he'll call you every once in a while because i'm not calling you because you don't do shit for me so what am i blowing up y'all going for see i don't call niggas that's not my nigga like i like a nigga to chase me i'm not the chaser i like to be chased like and if i feel like i gotta chase you then it's just like no i'm not fucking with you so this is like a little story time where like, i encounter different types of niggas and they don't make me wet they don't make me horny they don't make me want to like want to do something strange you know and so he hit me up or whatever and i was in town i was where he was at he like come spend the night like and i'm like okay like i didn't feel like driving home so i'm like okay whatever so and mind you i haven't had sex with him in so long like every time i encounter with him we don't have sex and he know that like he knows that 
Cause he don't do shit for me. Like you don't do shit for me. You know. Oh, anyways, I was off Hennessy. I slipped up, and he got a little happy. He got a little too comfortable. So he just called me the other day, y'all. Like, oh my god, why haven't you been fucking with me? Blah blah blah. And my job after that, like that shit is dangerous. Like with me, like if I give you give myself to you, I'm gonna want attention the next day. Like, where, why haven't you called me? Like, why haven't you called me and make sure I was okay? Like, I'm not one of those girls that'll be like, um, f like, sometimes I am, but if I, like, have history with you or something like that, or if I was really feeling you, I'm gonna be like, why haven't you called me? Like, why you ain't take me out for breakfast the next day? Like, mind you, he didn't do any of that shit, so I was like, fuck this, like, what the f I was, I had a pep talk with myself, like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm like, what am I doing? He don't even do shit for me, like, let me quit, let me stop, because I was cussing him out, like... Like, I was just cutting him out. But anyway, so he called me the other day. And he was like, why haven't you? I heard from you. I was like, I don't fuck with you. Like, what? You don't. I was like, you don't do shit for me. He like, you don't do shit for me. And I was like. Ugh. Like, that just shit just turned me up. We wanted to go to the movies or whatever. We went to the movies. And it was late. And then, y'all. So, after that, like, I was just like. Like, y'all know I'd be lonely, so I, it'd be like sometimes I'll like slip up or whatever. So, <laughs> the movies was all good. And then I was hungry. I haven't ate all day. So, mind you, this nigga took me to fucking Wendy's. Cause I, and that's the type of shit he like to do. Like, he don't take, he never took me to a restaurant. He never spent no money on me. Like, he cheap. And I hate a cheap ass nigga. That's another, I don't like cheap ass niggas. Like, I love niggas to show me. Some new shit. I love niggas. This is why I date older men. Because I love niggas to show me new shit. I love being introduced to new things. Learning new shit. And I like nice things. I like when niggas do nice things for me. Not take me to fucking Wendy's. And then he took me to his house. And mind y'all. His house is messy as fuck. It was so fucking messy and nasty. And y'all know some bitches would have been like. Oh let me help you clean up. No, I'm sitting my ass the fuck down. Like, um, can you wash the dishes? I'm like, oh, wait, I skipped the part at Wendy's when, because he had to take a flight the next day. Um, I don't know where the fuck I'm getting with this. I'm just showing y'all this is why I don't have sex with these niggas, because they just irritating, like, that I encounter. Then we in the Wendy's drive-thru, and he's like, can you pay for my parking at the airport? What? Ah, the ghetto. Oh. Oh. The ghetto. The ghetto. Pay for your parking at the airport. Are you are you drunk? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Like I don't do shit for nobody that hasn't done shit for me. And I'm not pulling out my motherfucking wallet for you. Like you should be able to pay that shit your on your own. Like don't ask me for shit. Like I don't like a nigga to do that, especially when you don't do shit for me. Why are you asking a female to, like, I don't like niggas like that. I like men. I like a man. I like a man to do his own thing, and then he, when he do his own thing, he can come my way and do some shit with me. Y'all know, like, they be saying, oh, relationship is 50-50, but I think it's 20-80. I think a man should do more than a, than a female. That's just my personal opinion. Who the fuck do you think I am? And you got other bitches. Ask some other hoes. Like, no. It'll drive me. Like, that shit. I'm like, I need to go home. Shit like that just not turn me on. Like, ugh. You shouldn't want. You shouldn't feel like you need a nigga. It should be a want. Like, I don't need anybody. That's just my mindset. Because I just planted in my head. There was this post. It was like... Why would you waste time on something where you can just pour it all into yourself and, you know, get the outcome that you want? And that's what I do. I don't depend on nobody at this point. I can't depend on anybody. I t I'm happy by choice. I'm not, you, you know, one of them bitches that be like, having an attitude be like, girl, you need some <laughs> And I'm not one of those bitches that are negative. I don't think like that. I don't think like... Oh, I wish I, I mean I want I would like a man like of course so who wouldn't but I don't need one and I don't that doesn't make my world go around like that doesn't give me energy in the morning to keep doing what the fuck I'm doing that doesn't make me you know go hard I want to go hard for myself 
So that's what makes me getting towards my goals and shit like that makes me happy. And a man who being in my life does not, you know, that's just an addition. And then my job, I'm trying to get to, you know, Atlanta. Every every dude I encounter knows this. I tell them they all the time, like, I oh, can't wait to move to Atlanta. Like, and most of them be out there already. So it's just like, it ain't like you like, oh, do you want me to help you look for houses? Oh, do you want me to um fly you out here so you can look around at some stuff? Or no, it ain't none of that. I like a man to go an extra mile for me. And I feel like I haven't found that yet. And I just, you know, you know, I'm not looking for nobody to know. I mean, if a man wants to put me in a position to win, to win he will but i'm gonna do it myself but what are you gonna do for me that'll make me go get there a little faster you know what i'm saying like all of us can do what the fuck we want to all of us are gonna accomplish our goals but what nigga is going to you know make me want to hop on it to make me get there faster and i don't know it's just like i haven't found that yet so i'm not wasting my time on nobody that can't do nothing for me to put me in a position to win like i go on dates by myself and shit um i can vlog my experience doing that like i'm not finna wait for nobody to take me out on no day sweetie if i want a little steak asparagus mac and cheese shrimp lobster mac and cheese bitch i'm gonna go get that shit the fuck i ain't finna wait for nobody to be like let's go to this restaurant no i'm about to go by myself and get me a little nice dinner Cause I deserve it. I worked hard all day. And so I'm about to go get me a little steak dinner. Like you don't need no nigga to sit there with you. But I mean, I'm, I mean, I make myself happy by choice. Like I choose to be this way. Because until somebody is like, you know, able to make me happy the way I want them to be, you know? And I don't settle. And nobody should settle. You should never settle just because you don't want to be alone. Like, you need to pour that energy that you put into water in somebody else. A.K.A. your man that's not doing shit for you. Into your own motherfucking garden. Because it, it's going to pay off. Like, these two years that I've been putting in consistently just by myself, being by myself. I've been, you know, it's been paying off now because, you know, I put in that work or whatever. Because, you know... My rate is going up, work smarter, not harder. All that materialistic shit because I can do that shit myself. I, okay, y'all notice I bought my YSL bag. I've been buying like stuff, like treating myself. And when I was in Atlanta about to like buy this, like mind y'all, before these purchases, no, I, had, I didn't buy any of these bags that I have. <laughs> Only two of them that the, my recent purchases, I bought them myself. And I feel like when I was like, you know, a little younger, I was like, why should I buy my own fucking bag? Like, fuck that. I'm going to have somebody else buy this shit. And it wasn't like that I couldn't. It was just because like, why, why the fuck do I got to pay for this shit? It's not even about materialistic shit. It's just the message behind it. Like, right after I paid for it, I was like, damn. I really can do this shit by myself. Like, I really can do this by myself. My own motherfucking 2020 car. I'm be like, damn, I did this myself. I did this myself. I put in that work in, baby. Like, nobody um gave me shit. And it just feels better. So yeah, you can do anything that you want to yourself. And now I need a house. I need a car. Like, I need to get my ass to Atlanta. It's going to happen. But which nigga is going to make it go a little faster? You know what I'm saying? If I'm telling you this shit, why you got to be like, oh, okay, that's a good goal to have. <laughs> I'm just be like, yeah. <laughs> But it's just like that type of shit. Like, I like a nigga to pay attention to what the fuck is going on. Because, it's like... And then, the dude that um I just told y'all about, the little story time or whatever. I told him I was moving to Atlanta because, you know, he lives here. And he was like...
Oh, I cannot wait to come to Atlanta and come to your house. I can't wait. I can't wait to pull up. I'm like, you ain't pulling up, nigga. You ain't paying no motherfucking bills. This is not the Netflix and chill house. And niggas know. Like, niggas be knowing, like, what a girl wants. They they be knowing. They just don't want to. And I can't wait to find me a nigga that wants to do everything for me, baby. Like, baby, relax. Like, you I like, I don't like to spend my own money either. Like, I love for a nigga to spend his coin on me. So, baby, I want you to spend your own mother. Coin. If the nigga wanna hit it, make that nigga spend it. Make his pockets hurt. I have my own coin. Obviously, if I want to go do something or buy it or whatever, I can. But it's just like, if I'm fucking with you, why do I have to? I love a nigga to be like, baby, I got it. I got you. And if he don't, then it's okay because I got it. Okay. Lashes are on. Mm. Being single and like not having a man is like the best feeling ever because guess what, bitch? You don't got an answer to no motherfucking body. And that is just sounds like good news to me. Like this is your time to do whatever you want to do. Like once you get in a relationship, it's not about you. Once you have kids and shit, it's not about you. If you're single and have kids, you can still do what you want. But and not answer to nobody. But but when you don't have kids, it just hits a little different because you can do whatever you want. Like for real, for real. And I like being able to do what I want, talk to who I wanted to talk to. Um and I answer to nobody. Like everybody should experience that, like actually single, not happening from relationship to relationship. I know some girls are like that. I'm I used to be like that, I ain't gonna lie. But and I do require a lot of attention. That's why I haven't found anybody yet, anybody yet either because um, they don't give me the attention that I want. And I don't know why y'all wanted me to talk about Ari and Moneybag Yo and um, Lori Harvey and stuff like that. I already told y'all, Lori Harvey is the GOAT. Like, she dates the niggas, the older niggas. That's what I'm all about. The older men. Like, she know what the fuck is going on. And she's dating around to see who's the best for her. And I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. Like, Ari's doing the same thing, too. Like, you should never settle to be with more men just because you don't want people to think you a hoe. That's not even the point. It's the point is, if he ain't treating you right, it's on to the next. What dating is all about is you finding who is for you and who works with you so yeah being single this is the time for you and i will i don't even know if i said this before but i definitely will vlog like i can get dressed up get cute and go on a date like i could vlog that experience and i definitely want to take a solo trip somewhere like i'm in love that in love with myself now that i'm comfortable we're taking a trip somewhere i just don't know where like by myself but i'm definitely comfortable to go by myself and be enjoy myself like and i feel like once if i get in a relationship now um i told you i just require a lot of attention i feel like if once i get in a relationship if my man doesn't want to give me like if he give me attention all the time but one day out the week like y'all know y'all need y'all little break break one day out the week, he don't want to give me that attention. I don't have to blow his phone up and be like, where the fuck you at? Who are you doing it with? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I can just give him his little space. I know, right? Space. And, um, I can see on with my day. And that was an issue before. Because I like enjoying my me time now. But that was an issue before because I was, I was like crazy like i was like what you don't want to see me today like fuck you talking about like uh-uh like i would be <laughs> i would be like crazy but now i would just be like okay baby i'll see you tomorrow and i don't like to be like that now either like i like to show niggas i don't like them. i'm not all over niggas like how i used to be when i first met them i don't wear my heart on my sleeve no more i don't show my feelings easily no more i get shy like it's so fucking crazy like i'm like why am i like this now like but you definitely will change once you start getting to know yourself and that's fine change is good so somebody asks how do you how do you know when to move on from a nigga and i really just feel like you'll know when you want to move on and you have to want to move on you can't just be there just to be there anymore like fuck all that shit like, because you're going to ask yourself, like, what the fuck am I doing? 
what am I doing? And now it's 2020. Y'all need to realize it's so many niggas out here. It's so many niggas, so many fishes in the sea. I used to be so small minded. I used to be like, uh, who's gonna like me? Like, oh my God. Girl, it's somebody out here that's gonna like you. Seriously. So don't settle at all. Do not do it. I don't want to see y'all out here just so fucking crazy over a nigga that's not doing nothing for you. Like, pour all your fucking energy into something that you love to do. And that's going to make it ten times easier to move on from him. But honestly, I'm honestly I'm ready to meet somebody to take me on vacation the next day. <laughs> they meet me. Wouldn't that be some spontaneous shit? Like, some spontaneous crazy shit. Like, that's the nigga I'm waiting on to be like... I know it's scary, but it's just like, fuck it. But yeah, y'all, life is great with no sex. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. No, I'm playing. <laughs> of course I want sex, bitch. But it's fine. I don't need it. Like, I don't need it. It's not a, it's not a need for me. I mean, I won't get it consistently until I find, like, a nigga, like, you know, that's mine, you know? That makes me happy in the ways I want to be happy. I went to try my new flat iron out because I was on Instagram Lives, and y'all was like, you need to get a new flat iron. I was like, I do. So I did. So this one is for all my single ladies out here. I have a challenge for you. Take yourself out to eat. Show yourself a good time and tag me on Instagram because I want to see you. Because it's just like once you take yourself out to eat, it's just like if people stare at you, who cares? Like, bitch, you enjoy your meal. Fuck all that. Bitch, I'm eating good. Like, what you what you staying for? But the only thing, the only place I will not go by myself is the movies. I can't. I just can't. I can just, you know, find it somewhere on the internet. But I'm about to let my camera charge real quick and I'm going to come back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all. So I just got dressed. I'm the shirt from Off White. Y'all need to get with the wave. It's called Essence. I got this shirt off Essence. They be having the designer for the low. So y'all need to check that website out. And I just put my necklace on. So I'm about to put on my JBW watch. Y'all already know I mess with JBW. This is one of the newer watches that I got. This has a um a face like this circle thing right here i can change the face on it the different moves you know this one has rhinestones in it so i want to be a little extra tonight so i'm just going to keep that one on and if i wanted to do like a cute clean sophisticated look there's like one that's like plain so yeah i like this bomb so make sure you use my coupon code kyra 30 so you can get your jbw watch drip on so yeah I'm looking a little expensive tonight, and this shirt was only a hundred dollars. It's my coupon code at Nimi Glow for Kyra Ten. Oh, let me show y'all my shoes I'm wearing for tonight. Ooh, bitch. Now this is a motherfucking boot. This is gonna be my pop of color. So yeah, y'all, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment. And y'all know, as always, do not forget to slay. Okay. And that's period. Show a nigga that you don't need him. Be what a nigga need. And that's period. So. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.